All right, so I don't think I did this for Stormblood, <clears throat> so I'm gonna do it for Stormblood and now that I'm past it, and then I'm also gonna do it for Shadowbringers now that I've entered that. So this is the Stormblood demo and the um, the new kind of fresh title for it, the title page. We have fog, clouds, ornate kind of Japanese style bridges, waterfalls in the background, the big old statue of Ralgar, I believe is where we are. We're kind of getting closer and closer to the waterfall and we're going up this up the stone <clears throat> where Square Enix was I think written into the rocks so up 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 like over to Ralgar's hand outstretched Lise up top doing her martial arts her monk moves flowing through kind of dance and attack patterns Um, some dude I don't know probably represents us but she like attacks him from behind he blocks it and they get into this fighting stance atop Ralgar's outstretched open palm of stone double monk style hand to hand combat only kicks as well obviously he knocks Lise back a little bit but she is fine she rushes forward with a, a fist to the stomach. Oh, but he caught it. And he tries to counter, but she catches that fist. So now they're locked hand to hand. We're in a different scene now. Somebody's loading a cannon or cleaning a cannon. Some, some Chikobos stationed nearby. He's watching the sonic booms coming from the hand as they fight up there, or spar. We get a higher scenic view now above the, the hills, the mountains. We see kind of a desert step area. We're back to the combat. They're just blow for blow. They're fine. He glows blue, she glows red. And they just rush each other. And then we see the map. Gridania, Ishgard, Alamigo. We kind of zoom to the, to the east of Alamigo. We see Garlemald to the north as well. Othard, which is where we've spent most of our time for a while now. And then down in the southeast of Othard is the, the Pirate's Cove with the, um, and the underwater stuff we've had to do, including entire cities underneath bubbles. And then, um, uh, what's it called? Gugane, I think is this, this what this is. We see men in soldiers' uniforms with katanas at their side, Russian. It's going somewhere. We see Orin. <laughs> this this looks like Orin from the back, I swear to God. Like, but it's not. It is a samurai. He has not yet pulled a sword from the scabbard, but he's about to, in an orange stance. They fire their, their pistol shots, and he slashes through all of them, and then through all of the Imperial soldiers, leaving a shockwave in his wake so fast. And then a little flourish before he puts his blade away. A few more things fall down. Samurai. We see the beautiful city of Kugane. Waterfront. Kind of has a lot of Venice kind of feel to it with uh, a lot of waterways. We are on, on a hawk flying over the city, the pagodas, um, the beautiful bridges, uh, symbolism of Japan. Up to meet Gosetsu and Yugiri. Maybe it's nicer knowing who these people are. And we see the Stormblood title screen. With Lise leading the way um, with a bunch of like troops behind her. Okay, so that was the Stormblood opening movie. And then the title screen is as I just described it. I'm going to do the next one next. I'll see you soon.